All right. You know how I judge a presidential candidate. I assess his persuasiveness, his intellect, his backstory. But even more, it boils down to one thing. Does my dog like him? <laughs> Which means it's time for... If you want to get to Pennsylvania Avenue, you've got to give this dog his due. This is the Gus Test. Yep, starting now, I'm challenging anyone running for president to come on this show and let me interview them while they hold my dog, Gus. So let's bring him out! <laughs> yeah, hold on to him, Vivek. There you go, there you go. He, well, he wants, he wants so badly to get away from you. This is not a good sign. This is not a good sign. Oh, he wants Jamie to be president. He wants Jamie. I should. Uh, not me neither. Oh, he wants Greg, he wants. Oh, what's wrong, little guy? Oh, oh my, my goodness. little baby. Oh. <laughs> Greg for here? president. There you go, sit here. I think it's a sign. All right, Vivek, last week you were interviewed by CNN's knucklehead in chief, Don Lemon. And now the New York Times says that interview led to Lemon being fired. Let's watch that tape. The, the lessons that we still learned. aren't allowed to enjoy the freedoms. I disagree well with you country. on that, Don. I disagree okay. with you. On it. I think you're doing a disservice well, to our country okay. by failing to recognize when the you, fact that we have the quality of the law. When you are and you live in this country, then you can disagree with me. Well, well, here's where you and I have a different point of view. I think we should be able to express our views regardless of the color of our skin. We should have this debate I'm not saying you without me regarding views, you as a black man, insulting that but you're me regarding you as a fellow citizen. That you're That's sitting here, whatever ethnicity you are, explaining to me whatever ethnicity I'm what it's like to be black. Whatever America. ethnicity I'm I am, sorry. I'll tell you what I am. I'm an Indian American. I'm proud of it. But I think we should have this debate. Black, white, doesn't matter. Oh, he took that so personally, and then he got fired. Yeah, he did. <laughs> what do you, uh... I bought some, uh... What do you... Give you, give you some lemons, you make some lemonade. There so you go. A there bit. you go. You got your silly little joke yeah, I in. I, I, All right, now, I was, I was Jamie, one. give him back over there. Let's bring him in. Okay. You've got, you got to get the. You got I got to get it. Come on, Gus. Okay. Come on, Gus. Let's get over here. here oh. oh, there you go. So, um, <laughs> what do you think about what, what's your plan when you debate Trump? Yeah, look, I'm just going to call it like it is. Yeah. You had, you had a chance to do what you were going to do, <laughs> and we'll let the. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna let Gus out on the stage. Yes. And, and you know, I'm gonna give him credit for what he did. Yeah. You know, he, he took the country America First agenda as far as he was gonna take it. We're gonna take it to the next level. And you know what I tell people is, Greg, is America First doesn't belong to Donald Trump. Yeah. It doesn't belong to me. Mm -hmm. It belongs to the people of this country, actually. Right. We remember that it was, you know, nobody what owns about, it. What would you do about crime? when it's a st such a, a city problem and no one's really done anything? Well, I think snacks for him. Oh, he's got, oh, he found him. He found he him. He found the snacks. He found the so snacks. you're supposed to hide the snacks around that's your right, body. That's, that's right, what that's I right. do. You know, so here's, here's the funny thing is my wife and I actually have a deal. Yeah. I'll be honest with you. I'm not the dog person in the family. She's been wanting to get a dog. <laughs> I vetoed it, but she said that if you make me move to Washington, D.C. to the White House, we're getting a dog. So yeah. I think the chances are we're going to get a Frenchie now. If yeah. we're successful. They are, uh, there's a lot of dogs in D.C., you know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> Some of them in the White House, am I right? Yeah, yeah, one of them now. So uh, what, what do you think is the biggest problem facing America? I think we're in the middle of a national identity crisis. Mm -hmm. Yes, most people my age, really yeah. any age, mm -hmm. what it means to be American today, you get a blank stare in response. Yeah. They've That's replaced, a problem. They replaced patriotism with identity. They did. Everybody's into who or what they are and not what they belong to. Right. Race, yeah. gender, sexuality, climate. Mm -hmm. I think we can revive the individual, yeah. family, the nation, God. Mm -hmm. Four-letter words you're not supposed to say. I think that's what three we're letters. Yeah, well, well, it's become a four-letter word. Yes, it has. Make it a point here. With two Ds. Yeah, yeah. That's how we treat it. <laughs> yes. That's how we treat it anyway. Yes. Oh, Ooh, there he goes. God, Gus Vivek, you know, you don't, you're not going to have a chance with Gus. Gus is, <laughs> Gus is restless here. I like it. Gus got energy. Yeah, yeah. I hope he doesn't get electrocuted. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that'll be three dogs in one month. Oh, no. <laughs> so... <laughs> 
How would you deal with the fentanyl crisis? I believe I know that you were like you've got a pretty aggressive stance. Yeah, look, I think that we shouldn't apologize for this. We have a problem on the southern border. Chinese manufactured fentanyl coming from. I'm not even kidding. This Wuhan, it's coming all the way over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'd put the military on the border, and I would use our military to annihilate the drug cartels. I don't, I don't know why that's a problem. If, if it we've done be. that with, like, terrorists and it's a terrorist kind of thing. Bin Laden, Soleimani, if we can do it over there, we can do it to the drug cartels south of our own border. Gus, what do you think about that? Do you think that that's the solution for our, terror, our drug problem? We're going to let the dogs out on them. Yeah. <laughs> Nicely done. Nicely done. What about um, immigration? You notice that you see Mayor Adams now suddenly sounding like De uh, Donald Trump now that he has to come face to face with being a sanctuary city. What would you do? So, I'd, I, again, I believe use our military to secure our own border. If we can use it to secure somebody else's border halfway around the world, we can use it to secure our own southern border. Mm -hmm. So it's not just building the wall. It's securing the wall with our actual military. And that's, that's my, when I, with Trump on the debate stage, that's what I would say is great ideas. Now let's actually take it one step further and get the job done, which we can do if we're doing it based on first principles and moral authority, not just vengeance and grievance. And that's why I want to go further with that America first. Can you elaborate on the phrase first principles? I always hear that and I always have, pretend like I know what it means. It means remembering... Like gravity. Well, it's like ba the, basic, yeah, <laughs> the basic ideas that set the nation into motion. Yeah. Merit is a principle. Free speech is a principle. Rule of law, we were about to talk about. Mm -hmm. Basic principle. The idea, we're talking about this with Biden, the people who we elect to run the government ought to be the ones who actually run the government, not this managerial bureaucracy that runs the show. Those are basic American principles. I think the last president we had that tied his policies to actual principle, the why was Ronald Reagan. Mm -hmm. I think we have missed that in this country for a long time. I'm the first millennial actually running for U.S. president ever as a Republican. And I'm doing it as a member of my generation. I'm tying this to the why for That's the next amazing. generation. Yeah. That's amazing because it's almost like the millennials just got skipped, right? You know, on everything. They kind of got screwed. Joe, are you a millennial? Generation X, but we didn't do much better. Yeah, that's yeah. true. <laughs> yeah. And Biden's over twice my age and then some. But it's yeah. not just an age thing. It's an ability to channel this to young people in this country. And that's what I'm trying to do in the race. Well, I think, I think Gus, is, uh, Gus is giving you a thumbs up or okay. he just yeah. crapped on my shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Gus, what do you think? Any questions? I think he's good. All right. Go away. Um, oh, oh. Get that. Thank oh. you for that good sport on our That, was, our good, that was fun. That was fun. <laughs> He was great. Yeah, he was great. Our inaugural dog segment. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.